Peace, love, and light, my beautiful yin energy, divine feminines. Welcome to First Eye Vision. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for the feminine collective. I want to take a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, going out, going on with our divine feminines. I will you beautiful ladies are doing wonderful on this free day. This is the day of Oshun. This is a beautiful day to do love me spells, you know. This is a good day to even like alchemize your own little love potion, you know. But um, absolutely a beautiful day of manifestation as well. Uh, I will you, those of you who are celebrating your solar returns today, which happens to fall on 11-11, I will that you have a beautiful day that you are enjoying it. Anyone that I have missed, happy belated beloveds. I definitely am chilling on my side of the planet. Everything is everything. Um, I wanted to get this message out for you uh, because I've missed your reading. So I definitely wanted to push this out, um, you know, just to uh, show you all that I have not forgotten about picking up on that divine feminine energy. Um, for any of you that may be new, welcome to the channel. Uh, I am an empath, I channel messages intuitively, and I am also clear audience, so you will hear music playing in the background. Um, right now we have Lord I Kim, and this is called uh, Stay Woke. So perhaps there's something that you need to uh, be paying closer attention to so as not to get rocked to sleep so this is like keeping your head on a swivel um, you know looking at things from you know that that bird's eye view that hawk eye that eagle eye um, you know just really paying attention to your intuition because perhaps there's someone or something that may be potentially trying to deceive you, maybe someone speaking with a forked tongue. Maybe there's someone that's not being as honest or transparent. Um, I feel like with Stay Woke, maybe some of you all are suffering from like insomnia, so you're constantly up at night. Maybe some of you are waking up during those witching hours, between the hours of like 12 to 5 a.m. Um, I feel like there's something also that could be really um, pressing uh, so it has you up at night just kind of like thinking and ruminating and pining over it kind of like real anxious energy maybe mentally conflicted uh, or just confused um, indifferent um, but I do feel like there is um, a real focus on trying to resolve whatever this is because I do feel like with Lord I Kim, that's the name of the artist. Uh, I do feel like some of you all could be praying to the Most High. Maybe some of you all are just kind of taking ownership of the situation and like setting your intentions on what it is you want. Uh, maybe you're seeing something for the first time. Maybe the divine is giving you some sort of divine intervention. Um, I also feel uh, like maybe some of you all are going to church, you know, or if it's not church, maybe you're seeing a master teacher. Maybe you are, you know, um, tapping into your spirituality in some way uh, through some means. You know, maybe you've created an altar so you could be, um, you know, really dedicating more time to developing a relationship with your ancestors, your guides, your angels, you know, the Orishas. Um, you could be developing a very strong connection. So that does um, require a lot of attention and intention. Um, and as I said, devotion, devoting that time is like, you know, setting up, uh, you know, your altar, altar space uh, and providing offerings to your your guides, um, you know, pouring libation, um, putting their favorite uh, snacks or some of their uh, favorite tools. Um, maybe you are 
creating oils, anointing oils um, in their on, honor. I'm hearing like an Orisha, um, I mean a Oshun um, oil. Maybe some of you are crafting that. Maybe you've been guided to doing that. But I do feel a strong sense of like, uh, you know, just, you know, almost like seeking wise counsel, you know, higher learning, uh, you know, reaching that level of self-mastery, inner standing, omni-standing, um, but it's really just, it's an intentional uh, effort. So it's beautiful, okay? So that's just what I'm picking up intuitively. So just as I said, I am clear audience. So I will incorporate music into my readings. And the way that it works, the way that you saw <laughs> just now, uh, the example of how the messages will come through, um, either through the song, maybe lyrics in the song, uh, maybe the name of the artist, maybe even the title of a song. Sometimes the timestamp of the song will jump out and it will correlate with what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the tarot cards will be uh, displaying. So it just all kind of blends beautifully. Um, so, you know, and my spiel for the, you that may be new is eat the fish, spit out the bones. Um, you know, if it doesn't apply, just let it fly by, okay? Uh, we're not forcing anything. Uh, we should be able to uh, know when to leave something that doesn't belong to us, opposed to just picking up the baggage and carrying around something that's not applicable. It's like you don't need to even leave a comment. If you know it doesn't apply, let it fly. Bite. I'll shake. Um, my readings are also timeless, so whenever you find yourselves clicking on this video, whenever this video has found you, that was divine timing and in divine order uh, that you have been able to do so. So um, usually I do a sound bath, but because it is a little later in the evening, everybody's kind of chill, um, I don't really want to, you know, bang on any chimes and singing bowls at the moment because it may be a little loud. Uh, it's literally like 1, 2 o'clock in the a.m. Um, so I'm just going to hold off on that. Uh, but we are going to do some house cleaning. So let's go ahead and uh, delve into that, Ashe. And we have Guy singing Goodbye Love. So I do feel like you could have walked away from somebody. It's like you knew your worth, your value, you know. But let's call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ah, shape. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So as I've mentioned, we have Guy. And the name of this song is called Goodbye Love. So as I was picking up, I feel like you walked away from someone. And I'm hearing this um, in my mind's eye, like self-love um, makes you more attractive. Self-love is the best love. Um, so it's like you created some sort of boundary and walked away. Um, perhaps this was someone that could have been confused, uh, conflicted, torn between two people, two ideas. To, you know, just kind of like fork in the road syndrome. Um, and I just feel like you, you, you chuck up the deuces and was out uh, with goodbye love. I just feel like, you know, maybe you said goodbye to a love. This, you know, the name of the group is Guy. Uh, maybe there was a guy that said goodbye uh, to you. And, um, you know, this could have really impacted you in some way, uh, which could have, you know, kind of like triggered you to heal thyself you know and in healing thyself you now love yourself you now know yourself um you know you respect yourself you you know when you set boundaries that is a sign of self-respect uh that is a sign of self-discipline having integrity you know standing up for something having morals so i feel there's an energy of like taking your power back um 
even feeling empowered you know when you're saying goodbye to someone or something that uh, obviously isn't honoring you or you may feel there's imbalance or um, something toxic or um, maybe even um, unhealthy you know about the situation you choosing to walk away and say goodbye that is absolutely a show of self-love um, it shows self-respect you're not going to take um, more than necessary or anything that diminishes you as you know that divine feminine she knows her worth so she's not settling um, she's definitely not going to um, overcompensate because she knows what she brings to the table and if you're not matching that fly if you're not coming to her in that energy as a divine masculine or as an emperor or as someone that is uh, very, um, you know, devoted and 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 uh, strong, you know, and 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 uh, supportive, and and you know, if you're not coming in with that energy, she's she's on she's not even checking for you. So I do feel like with goodbye, love, uh, you may have said goodbye to some guy. Um, maybe there's a guy that said goodbye to you, and there's just kind of like regrets that I was picking up on um, because I do feel like somebody is really having some sort of regret uh, because we did see you know Lord I Kim and it was saying stay woke so I was picking up that there could be someone who could be like up at night kind of ruminating and pining over a situation you know kind of looking back reflecting maybe someone has had some time to you know assess a situation um, you know maybe they've found fault in the way that they may have handled a situation so there's a deep sense of like deep diving you know self analysis as I said you know assessing uh, reflecting even you know reflecting on something that could have transpired so let's go ahead let's pick up some messages so on the bottom of the deck, um, we have the number six, and this is love. So it says, um, basically, what I'm getting is with the six, you know, that six deals with the lovers. It also is giving me like the six of cups. Um, whoever that was that had the regrets, that was very anxious, um, you know, kind of like analysis, paralysis, energy. Um, this is definitely someone wanting to return from your past someone that may feel uh some sort of like deep connection or some 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 very uh divine energy from this like it's almost like they feel this is destined maybe sacred maybe a spiritual union or connection or someone that just feels this strong synergy um feels this strong pull um attraction interest uh, it's like you intrigue them, you're mysterious, uh, you're also seen as very wise, you're also seen as someone that's independent and self-sufficient, you're very stable. Um, it's like you are, uh, you know, it's like you're regal in a sense, a sense of regalness, royalty, like you are just like, there's a glow, you radiate. It's like they don't see you walking. You're gliding through the world. It's just like this energy of like, you know, like that earth angel, you know, just beautiful energy when I'm picking up. They love you. And this is something I feel they want to communicate because this is the number six. Six deals with the first eye. So that could be really someone who's uh, trusting their intuition um, to make this move, to communicate. Uh, the blue card uh, deals with the blue which is a throat chakra. So there is this sense of someone wanting to express love, you know, someone who may have, um, you know, kind of come to the realization that they love you. Uh, but this is someone that could see, you know, building some sort of nucleus, a family. Uh, they see this, this partnership, you know, they could see themselves committing, building with you, like I said, a nucleus, a a foundation, a solid foundation with you. Um, and we have Oshun. And remember, I was picking up on Oshun energy because today is Friday free day. And so we have Oshun here. 
and the name of this is called Iyaz Intro about it. So yeah, whoever this is, this person is definitely, um, you know, about you, about this connection. I feel like they're coming in very uh, about it. When Master P was saying, "I'm about it, about it," that means I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm solid. I'm, I'm on one. You know, you know, like I'm, 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 I'm powerful. I'm a manifester. I'm, I can, you know, I can make it happen. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm about that. <laughs> whatever that may be so this person is about the love about the you know chemistry or the connectivity with you this is someone that is returning that you know maybe they was really like I said riddled with regret you know reflecting on some things um, and now there's a sense of them wanting to come back because now they feel like they have awakened uh, with that Lord I Kim stay woke I feel like maybe they've awakened to something maybe they were sleeping on you in this connection as I said maybe they didn't see your worth maybe they didn't respect you maybe they didn't give you the the time and the respect and the attention that you deserve maybe they took you for granted maybe they looking at this whole situation like damn that's the one that got away damn like you know because like I said I just feel this magnetism this this attraction someone's like really Finding you alluring. So this sick shows me like this is someone from your past. This is that person that is absolutely coming in probably to extend an olive branch. You know, they're looking for a victory with this connection. They're looking for some sort of major breakthrough. And I do feel like they will take uh, that first step, take that first leap of faith to come towards you. Because I'm getting like, you know, the six dealing with like the six of wands. Um, and there could potentially be like a major breakthrough uh, in love where, you know, you may find yourselves in a committed relationship. Um, we have Sade, cherish the day. So I do feel like this person does cherish something, uh, cherish the days of old, like those days when y'all used to perhaps, you know, converse on the phones a lot, keep in contact, check in with one another. Um, you know, maybe even, you know, uh, circulate time together, you know, uh, build together, laugh together. Maybe you travel, maybe you've attended, you know, museums, art museums or galleries or movie theaters. Maybe you've gone to some sort of play. Maybe you've gone taking a hike, you know, up in the mountains. Um, I feel there's, there was just a different type of dynamic and, and, and connection. Uh, that this person feels with you. Um, I feel like they really cherish you. They cherish this connection wholeheartedly. Uh, and I feel like because it says um, 2011 there, this is when the concert took place, that reduces to four. So I'm getting it's a masculine energy for you, Divine Feminines. Uh, remember, we had Guy, and it said goodbye, love. So uh, there's definitely someone who you aren't communicating with that you could have walked away from or vice versa. They walked away from you. And now there's this sense of like, you know, kind of like desiring you. Um, they cherish the days of old. They cherish those, the memories, you know, they want to make new memories. You know what I'm talking about? And this is someone obviously that loves you that's not communicating because this is an all blue card. Um, the six is associated with the... Um, <clears throat> yep, my throat just got blocked. <coughs> Excuse me. So my throat just got blocked as I was speaking of, you know, what the six was associated with, which was with the lovers. But I was also breaking down the color blue, which deals with the throat chakra. And then my throat got all sorts of choked up. Excuse me. So whoever this is, they get choked up when it comes to you. This person gets choked up. I wouldn't be surprised if they like cry, you know. Maybe they've shed a tear or two in regards to this connection. Um, I see 1919 on the clock, so that's 1010. So there was definitely some sort of karmic situation. Um, there's been some betrayals. Uh, folks have felt very overwhelmed and underwhelmed at the same damn time because of this connection. I'm also picking up that could be the reason why someone is in that stay woke energy because it's like I'm not falling for the okey doke. Oh no, sir. Oh no, ma'am. It's like it's not happening. 
So it's like somebody's like, look, I'm woke. Okay, I see you, beloved. I got on the gazelles watching you with no lenses. I see you. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Like, it's like those print shades with the third eye. Like, yeah, like I see you clearly. Um, all three of my eyes, you know, and I feel you energetically. So like, who you think you're fooling? Like, your joke's on you. So it's like, yeah, I, I stay woke because maybe there is a potential of somebody that could be coming in under the guise of I love you or under the guise of some sort of um, emotional manipulation I heard in my mind's eye. So it's like, just, just stay woke. Keep your head on the swivel. I'm not trying to cause alarm or cause any paranoia. It's just, just stay aware you know as i said bird's eye view look at everything um i'm not even saying to be uh crucial or critical of anyone i'm just saying look alive beloved stay aware um so let's go ahead and do the split so we have on the um split we have completion number nine and the number six so remember we just saw 1919 so and I was saying how that was some sort of ending, karmic ending, uh, very heavy load somebody felt like they was carrying. I also feel like there was a lot of betrayals, lies, deceit. Uh, I was picking up on that earlier when I was picking up on like, you know, speaking with a forked tongue, you know, some sort of uh, funky energy where, you know, maybe there was some sort of um, doubt about a situation, you know, um, because maybe something just didn't sit right in someone's spirit. So they feel like they got to stay woke. They got to look alive. They got to be on one. Um, but whatever this is, there's a completion. So this is really about, you know, a major change that's taken place. And I feel like it may have something to do with love. You know, maybe someone has been in hermit mode, really, as I, um, you know, I mentioned, like, you know, kind of like assessing the self, self-analysis. Uh, and you got to go within. You got to love yourselves in order to be able to love others. It's an inside job. So this looks very intentional. Like somebody really, uh, you know, very intentionally working on the self. Um, and getting to a point where they're solid. These are both solid cards. You got solid purple, which deals with the crown chakra. So there was a lot of... Um, you know, connecting with the higher self. You know, the answers you seek are found within that number nine is the hermit. The hermit knows that, that, you know, in order for he, for he or she uh, to uh, find the answers, they must go within. So that's why they go into the cave. They go into, you know, that, that self. You know, it's really uh, very symbolic of going within, uh, quieting the mind, uh, quieting all the noise around you, all the naysayers, all of the unsolicited advice or, um, you know, all, all of that. You're, you're quieting all of that and you're connecting with your higher self. And that's where the answers are, are um, coming from. There's downloads. Uh, there's transmissions from spirit. There's really uh, just a very uh, powerful uh, divine inter uh, intervention there. And I do feel like it triggers this emotion of love, as I said, because you realize, like, you know, love is an inside job. And in order for you to fully understand what love is, you have to first love yourselves. And I feel through all of the pain, all the trauma you may have experienced, because that 1919, that is indicative of, of going through enormous change, painful uh, endings, tower moments, you know, sudden endings, unexpected endings. Um, through means of back, you know, betrayal and 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 uh, tr you know uh, toxicity, uh, so there was a lot of lessons you know that you had to learn. But you know, you're walking away solid. You're walking away feeling like um, you're balanced. You're in equilibrium. You know, I'm getting you know the lovers is very you know indicative of like that masculine and feminine energy that masculine feminine principle so uh that just speaks to balance you know being in alignment mind body as well as soul uh so this is beautiful powerful energy um there's also a strong sense of like you know really feeling very much like you've had some major breakthroughs in your life um you know maybe there's been some real train transformations shifts that have occurred in your life. Um, I definitely see like 
uh, victory ahead, you know, having some sort of victorious outcome, whatever it is you're working towards. Uh, so we're going to tap into an in spirit. So let's see, what do, what is my Divine Feminine? What's coming and going out going on for my Divine Feminines? And we have D'Angelo, and this is called um, Fall in Love. So there's definitely some of y'all, because we just had that six love. So this is someone from your past that's coming in. And some of you all may fall in love. And I'm one of those people that don't necessarily like the term fall in love. I like the idea of rising in love. So maybe that's why spirit is kind of telling y'all to stay woke, to look alive. Uh, you know, because when you fall in love, that's like, that's, that's not ascension. <laughs> that's, that's like you're descending. Like you're, you're, you know, I don't know, you know, the way that I'm looking at it, it's like you want it to, to, um, be euphoric, to be, um, you know, you know it's going to be a roller coaster ride of emotions, but you don't want to feel like you're constantly plummeting. <laughs> you know, uh, like there's, you know, falling is not something that's uh, anything that I would liken to a positive affirmation. I think rising in love. I'm I'm very big on changing the the way we communicate. You know, the way that we express certain things. Um, because of the frequency and the vibration of the words that we use. Uh, you know, words are spells, spells bind. So it will behoove us to, you know, start speaking in a more higher vibration opposed to always using some of these little terminologies that don't really have a good vibration. You know, um, that's the reason why I don't say a lot of words like morning and sleep. Um, bless, you know, to me, those, those just all have a very, um, it just has a low vibration to me, you know, so I've, I've changed, um, the context in which I, I say those words, like I've completely changed the frequency by changing and shifting a couple of the letters, uh, so that it can mean something, um, more positive, uh, so that it can keep you in a high frequency and a high vibration. So with you rising in love, because that's what I want to hear. Uh, that's what I want to say. I feel like this could potentially be like a soulmate. Because this is D'Angelo and the Soultronics. So you do have a soulmate that's coming in. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. 93. This is happy ending. This is a very happy card. So as I was breaking down and differentiating the term falling in love from rising in love, um, we have this happy ending. So either way, spirit is confirming and affirming that there is a very uh, unexpected, because I feel this is really going to be unexpected, like you're going to be elated. Like I'm seeing emotional fulfillment. I'm seeing you cheesing. Some of you that, you know, may, may um, blush, I see like your face is turning like beet red because of the just excitement and the pure joy and, and um, surprise. It's like surprise, like it's just like something is just going to sneak up on you. And, and, and with this 93, that's 12, that's your energy. Uh, you're going to have some sort of happy ending, Divine Feminine. You know, that, that 12 reduces to 3, that's the Empress. So it's like, I feel your hard work is paying off. That, that's just what I'm getting. Um, Empress Energy works her ass off. She is powerful. She's a master manifester. She's a creative. She can have like five, six different things going on. Some of y'all may have multiple streams of income. It's like you making money in many different little areas. Um, and you doing your thing, you know, very independent, self-sufficient. Um, you know, you know your worth, you know your value, you're not settling. This is not the energy of settling. Von Feminine does not do that. And I feel like someone is coming in or something is coming, which is going to make you very happy. Um, and I feel like some of y'all know this because perhaps this is something that you've 
manifested. Maybe you've set intention. Maybe you sent up a petition, a prayer. Uh, maybe you wrote down in your manifestation journals, um, calling in what you desire, calling in what you want. I was picking up on the energy of some of you all making your own Oshun anointing oils. You know, maybe you're doing some love oils, love potions. Uh, but I, there's an energy of alchemy. There's an energy of, you know, being a co-creator, co-creating with source. And um, just get, really being like spiritually strong. Like you're starting to like feel yourself because you, you, you're starting to see some of the things you're manifesting coming in quicker than usual. It's like, um, it's like rapid response, almost like taxes. I'm hearing rapid response. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? It's like you could call in something one day and it's like, bam, answered prayer, wish fulfillment, blessing. You know, talk about like, so it's like y'all are, are just like feeling very comfortable in your power right now. It's not shocking anymore because maybe you've had many uh, synchronicities, too many for you to be shocked, too many for you to be like, did I just see that? No, it's like, you know, because now you, it, it's like you've foolproofed something. So you already know what you can do, and you're just utilizing that energy, channeling in on it. So I'm 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 getting a strong sense of y'all are are really um, y'all are being the conduits of change. Um, y'all are really really pushing some some sort of idea forward because uh, you know that that empress is like an entrepreneur as well, just like the emperor. Uh, so they're go-getters. They go after what they want. Very devoted, very practical, very resourceful. Uh, like I said, very powerful and abundant. Abundant energy. So you could be birthing new ideas. Uh, you could be birthing new projects. Um, you could be birthing some sort of vision board. Uh, you could be working towards some sort of endeavor or goal. Um, maybe this is just studentship. Maybe you're reading a lot, researching. Uh, studying, you know, as I was saying, I felt some of y'all could be like, you know, maybe into your spirituality. Maybe you're learning more about your deities, your ancestors, your guides, and how to honor them, how to, uh, you know, set up an altar. Um, we have Marvin Gaye. This is called Symphony. So I feel like, you know, maybe there's um, a musical gift some of you all may have. Uh, maybe you sing in a choir. Uh, maybe you make like uh, conscious quote unquote conscious music woke music um, maybe you are really um, someone who may pl play like an instrument um, I do get a strong sense of like there being uh, an energy of like maybe artistry uh, because the divine feminine is a creative you know whether you're birthing new ideas, ways of thinking, or you could be channeling uh, that creative energy, uh, you know, mastering your craft, honing your skills, sharpening your sword, uh, or you could be tapping into your artistry, whether you are an artist, a singer, or writer, uh, art, uh, maybe you paint, maybe you play an instrument, as I said. Um, Whatever the case may be, I'm getting a sense of like, you know, maybe some of you all are, you know, into music. There's musicianship here with this symphony. And I'm just, I, I just see harps, you know, I see a big old symphony. Um, what I have in my mind's eye is um, Nas. Nas actually did his, a few of his um, songs from various tracks. Um, and there was a symphony behind him. And it was just so amazing. I, I cried because it was just so beautiful. Uh, just the marrying, the blending of these two uh, types of, of music and, and, and song and how amazing it sounds. Uh, I believe it was on like Amazon, if I'm not mistaken, but you might want to tune and tap into that. And I believe he was like somewhere in D.C., um, but I'm just getting a strong sense of someone like playing an instrument like what you would play in um, a symphony. So maybe like a trumpet. Uh, I was seeing a harp. Um, but whatever the case may be, I digress. So that's what I'm picking up. I got D'Angelo here, the root. Okay, so someone is really dealing with the root cause of a situation. 
So in order to, you know, ascend, grow, elevate, you have to start at the basement, the base chakra, the root. You got to get down to the root cause um, in order to begin the healing process. Like I said, you got to heal thyself in order to love thyself. And when you love thyself, you know thyself. And so this is that energy starting at the base, starting in that in that very um, that very accountable space you're holding a space of accountability you know what i'm talking about like just being very mature taking onus um and even responsibility you know wherever applicable like it's just like you're you're very comfortable now um because it's like you have discovered who you are so this is just a part of the process like taking it on the chin, learning from it, moving on from it, um, and becoming better because of it. So what we have that came out was we have 9-9 nine, nine, compassion. And remember, we saw 9 completion. So that's 9-9-9 nine, 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 um, because that 9 completion was on the split. Uh, so with this 9-9, nine, nine, I feel there was definitely uh, forgiveness, you know, uh, forgiveness really not judging others not judging yourself you know we know not what we do judge ye not like nobody's perfect and everybody is learning everybody is learning and are in different stages you know and may cross paths at different different times you know so this energy is really about like not judging being forgiving even of those that may have hurt you harmed you that was the root cause healing from the pain learning not to carry you know resentment or animosity or any type of emotional baggage for that matter you know learning to trust those who know not what they do fools ignorant you know some people are ignorant you know and not in a in a derogatory way i'm saying like literally not knowing is the very definition of ignorance. So maybe someone didn't know better. And that doesn't warrant judgment, you know. No matter what they did, no matter how they may have hurt you, either you're going to be hostage to someone inflicting some sort of pain or bruising your ego, or you're going to move on beyond that and heal thyself. Because obviously if you are allowing someone else to validate you to the point where you can't function and help have a healthy relationship or dynamic with another masculine because you carrying around some baggage then that means like you you really you know you're missing the point that's why forgiveness is for you that's why people say forgiveness is for you it's not really about the other person because they live in their life whether you forgive them or not you know what I'm talking about? Like some people don't even, like, they don't care. So you sitting around holding all this animosity and anger and, and, and for what? Because that person living their life, you know, taking cruises, traveling the world, and you sitting over here with an attitude. Like, so it's like, this is like the epiphany. Nines are, you know, very indicative of change. You know, they, they, they are the very meaning of change definition of train change and whenever I see double numbers you already know if you've been here before you already know what it is this means like you are mirroring the energy of someone and they're mirroring yours and I feel both of you have been in hermit mode both of you have been closed up but you both have been taking time to work on the self. You know, this nine energy is the hermit. Like I just described, the hermit is a wizard. So this is a very intentional act to go within, to heal, you know, to reflect, to, you know, become more self-aware, self, you know, just more self-aware. This is like looking back in awareness and doing your due diligence to 
to make the necessary changes. Because that's what that energy of the root chakra is as well. It's like it's really about healing, you know, those those familial traumas, past life traumas, childhood traumas, you know, relationship traumas, loveship traumas, betrayals. I was picking up on betrayals and deception with those 1010 from 1919 that we saw on the clock. That speaks to enormous change. Like it wasn't an easy journey. This wasn't an easy process. That root chakra really deals with your sense of stability and security and, and, and um, you know, just your independence. If you don't feel safe, if you don't feel loved, if you don't feel valued, if you don't feel appreciated, those are things you are to... To really, um, to really nurture during those formative years. And when there's an absence of that, that is why, you know, people tend to be very codependent in their relationships because of whatever childhood traumas they've yet to heal. So I feel like you and another person have Y'all have been really working on the self. And that's why spirit is saying, you know, judge ye not. I keep hearing judge ye not. And we have Sir D. Evils. And I was talking about codependency. And that's what the devil is. The devil is also, you know, that is the, um, that would be the shadow energy to the lovers. And remember, six love showed up on the split along with the um, nine completion. And we know that the devil and the lovers is pretty much the same card. It's just there's one dark entity, entity, you know, kind of manipulating and controlling that couple. And then there's an angel that is overseeing, you know, that divine feminine and masculine on the lovers card. So it's really about shadow, you know, working through that shadow side, coming out of a dark period, a dark time, you know. Completing, like the card said, a karmic cycle. Learning karmic lessons. You know, maybe someone was dealing with addictions. Sexual addictions. Drug addictions. Maybe there was just someone that was speaking with a forked tongue. A liar. Maybe there was a Judas around you. Maybe there was someone, you know. And that could be another reason why spirit is saying, show compassion. Judge you not. So let's see. Who is this person my divine feminines is attracting? May have a message of love and light. And we have 33 uh, communication. And remember, I was picking up on someone wanting to communicate with that blue in the six lovers card. This person has had some sort of epiphany. This is three, three. Threes deal with the empress. So they definitely want to communicate with you. I was also picking up that they want to take action because I was seeing the six as, you know, like the six of swords wanting some sort of victory, a major breakthrough coming through. Maybe there's some sort of epiphany someone has had, an aha moment, and now they want to communicate. And this is still 3-3, three, three, these two cards together because 9-9 nine, nine and 3-3 three, three is pretty much like 12-12, twelve, twelve, which is 6 so, yeah, this is someone that really realizes. I feel like they realize something very, um, it's almost like it's astonishing. It's like they've had this some, some sort of epiphany. It's like an epiphany that someone makes them happy. This is an epiphany. 
you know, perhaps that they love someone. It's like someone's also listening to their intuition. We have relationship change here, 56. And then we have mob deep shook ones. So someone's a little afraid of you, a little intimidated is what I'm getting. Because with this 56, they may feel you're very intuitive. You know, that 56 is giving me like the 11. And that 11 reduces the two. That's like the, em uh, not the empress, the high priest, this high priest. So this is someone that's like, maybe they feel like you're very like, psychic or there's something very mysterious about your energy they may see you as a star as well because with the six and the 56 the two that comes for 56 that's the eight i get a sense of like they see you as a star maybe you're in the spotlight maybe you're experiencing or celebrating some sort of stardom some sort of recognition Maybe you've received some sort of reward. But I feel like they also see you as a star. And they're coming in. It's like someone's making a decision. Because with the two, I'm getting like, you know, the two of wands. Where somebody decides to go after what they want. To go after what makes them feel very excited. Very passionate. You know, this is uh, also someone coming in with the intention to commit I'm here and lock you down even. <laughs> and this person is intimidated because we got, like I said, mob deep. So they could be deep in their head, you know, but they do um, know they need to uh, trust their intuition. Maybe they message you telepathically, intuitively. But I do feel like there's just, there's just a lot of... Um, it's like illumination. Like they've seen something. Something is making so much sense. And with that green on the inside of that symbol, I just feel like someone is very much smitten, very much potentially walking away from a situation that doesn't serve them and being very intentional to come towards you. But there's a little intimidation, maybe some fears, unnecessary fears, you know. So let's see, maybe this is that person you walked away from, which is why they could be a little hesitant because that eight is also giving me like the eight of cups. And remember, um, I was picking up on, you know, with that energy with, um, who was that playing? <clears throat> Excuse me. Goodbye love by guy. So somebody did walk away. So maybe you walked away from this person, which is why they feel a little intimidated with shook ones. And these two cards just flew out. What's on? What's on the bottom of the deck? We have music. So it's telling me to listen to this song right now. And like I said, it's still mob deep shook ones. So yeah, this person is shook. To, they, they're a little afraid to communicate. Because I'm getting 32, the 5, the throat chakra. So this is someone that's definitely afraid to speak to you. You know? And I feel like they may hear music and it reminds them of you. Maybe they feel like they're going crazy because the music is literally like telling them what they need to do. There's some sort of telepathic message. Or maybe they know you're intuitive. So as I said, they could be messaging you intuitively, telepathically. Maybe they're dreaming about you. Like crazy, I see 67. This reduces the 13 physical activity. This is what they feel about you. They are feeling like they need to be active. They need to make a move. They need to show you. They need to be intentional. They need to put action into motion. With this 13, that's what could have led to the demise of the relationship or the connection is the lack of action on their behalf they do see you they do um feel this love for you because that 13 reduces to four so they do love you i also feel like this person has seen your transformation like there's been some sort of major breakthrough that you've experienced they've seen you kind of like take the time to heal thyself because that 13 is dealing with the scorpionic energy which is really about startling metamorphosis transformations you know emerging someone new 
and that four is the heart chakra so you have this newfound love for yourself we have happy ending this is what's hidden in the energy so just as i've said so far you got purple yellow purple yellow and those are very powerful uh colors very spiritual colors if I'm not mistaken, those are the colors of New Orleans. So some of you all may reside in New Orleans. I'm hearing a, um, maybe someone is uh, studying like voodoo or hoodoo. I feel there's a very beautiful, happy ending. And it's because I really feel like someone is making some sort of effort. Because at 13, and this is a masculine that's going to be very uh, courteous. They're going to be very charming, very chivalrous. They're going to court you. This is someone that loves you. Because as I said, how they feel about you is that 13, they see your transformation, your growth, the elevation or the evolution of you. And I feel when they do get out of their head and get out of the fear of approaching you they will um, make you very happy this union will be very happy as well because I see them returning with that 9 3 12 I see like the three of cups you know so this is like someone reuniting or reconnecting with you maybe some sort of reconciliation maybe the two of you will um, you know um, just kind of like reestablish uh, that friendship first but there will be communication nonetheless like there's someone desiring to communicate uh, we have Bob Marley and the Whalers kinky so this person may feel a lot of passion for you they could be very attracted because as I've mentioned you know the Empress is very attractive very beautiful you know very alluring And this is 6, 10. Yep, this is the Divine Masculine. Because 9, 9, and 3, 3, that's still 6. 6, and that 13, that's 10. Because that's 6 and 4. So that's 1, 1, and 3, that's 4. This Divine Masculine is coming in to make you happy, ladies. Divine Feminine, be prepared. I'm also getting like the 11, 11, Twin Flame, Soulmate. Number four is the vibration of that twin flame, that 1111. And today is 1111. And I'm hearing some of you all who are celebrating your solar returns. I feel like some of you all will get married on 1111. Like, you know, I don't know when, but I feel like that's going to be like a... Um, it's going to just be the way in which you and your... Uh, divine counterpart choose to commit to one another is on the 11 11 you're going to pay homage because it's like it's it's like a, a a double blessing because it's your solar return and then it'll be the day that your beloved committed to you but whatever the case i digress uh i'm seeing like there's a masculine there's a divine masculine coming in you're going to be happy because this is what's hidden so they're coming in to put a smile on your face and with kinky, I do feel like this is that person that's very attracted to you sexually as well as physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. It's like they love all of you. They're not just, you know, um, mesmerized by your, your, your beauty um, or your physical fit, you know, -ness. They're, 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 they're very much... Uh, attracted to your mind you know um, to your spirit to the way that you love them they love how nurturing you may be you know how attentive or how um, much attention you pay to detail you may know them like the back of your hand they know you care because you've taken the time to get to know what they like you know they, they appreciate your opinion. 
you may see life or see situations from everyone's perspective. You give them something to think about or a new way to um, perceive a situation. You know, it's like they can appreciate that. Maybe they've never been challenged or had anyone uh, to provide that that um, that that other perspective. You know what I'm talking about? Like that that's that's something they really appreciate. They value that. So let's see what is the outcome for my divine feminines. They have a message of love and light, and we have Leon Haywood, and it says. I want to do something freaky to you. So this person is horny as hell, ladies. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? We just had Bob Marley singing Kinky. Now this one is talking about I want to do something freak freaky to you. So, you know, that's probably what landed they as in the, in the situation in the first place. And look what fell out, fell out. Relationship change. Remember, we saw this, you know, um, during the shuffle. So this relationship change. Is showing me that they're coming in very intentionally, ladies. And they will emote. They will express these things. Because this four and this two, they're coming in to apologize. Just as I've said, this 56, that's like the, you know, one half of the 1111. So this person is making, you know, uh, the decision. They're choosing you. It's like a, a wise choice and decision to come after you because they love you. That's the green that's inside of the symbol there. And this is all blue. So they will communicate this. Remember, that's their energy. You know, the person you're attracting, this is what they're dealing with. Communication. I feel like they're finally going to, you know, stand in their truth. And they're going to express themselves. Because remember, I got choked up. And I was feeling like your person, whoever you're attracting, they have difficulty expressing themselves. They have difficulty showing emotion, showing vulnerability. They just have a very difficult time because maybe this is something that that they weren't taught. You know, maybe they grew up in a family where you just didn't talk about feelings. You know, maybe they didn't have that type of relationship where they could be open about certain things. And so they just really closed up and pushed, you know, certain feelings and emotions down because that's what was expected of them and so when they come across someone that they have this beautiful synergy and chemistry with they do the same thing they make the mistake of not taking any action not showing any interest and not because they're not interested but because they just maybe they really just didn't know how to do it or maybe there was those fears you know I was picking up on them being a little intimidated you know, that Divine Feminine can be very intimidating. Especially if there's a page trying to approach you. You need a Divine Masculine. You need someone that's going to match your fly, your vibration, your frequency. That's going to speak your love language. And that's why this person had to take a little time out to kind of like assess the situation and plan accordingly. You know, plan a course of action that's going to lead to some sort of success. But this person is very, very attracted, hot and bothered, self-pleasing, thinking about you. On the bottom of the deck, we got self-discipline. So they are absolutely like maturing. Self-discipline is working on the self, healing that self, becoming more confident even. I definitely am sensing like there's been someone really taking the time out to do their due diligence to become stronger. That 41, this is like, again, sitting at the feet of an elder, perhaps going to a church or sitting with a master teacher, a pastor, you know, maybe a spiritual practitioner. This is devoting time in front of your altars. Like this is a very sturdiest type of energy. I said sturdy, studious, pardon me. And so we have Angie Stone. This is called No More Rain. So No More Rain is telling me this, that, like I said, the end of a dark cycle, a dark period. Nines, remember, completion. So you completed a karmic cycle lesson because the two tens is telling me, again, that's a mirroring. 
So you and the person you're attracting mirror, mirroring one another's energy. And then we have 9-9 nine, nine, compassion. So this is about not judging others. You know, this is about being in that spirit of forgiveness. You know, because when you don't forgive, people don't realize you, you literally are carrying around energetic baggage. You know, resentment, anger, you know, just just the, all of that energy is, is like it weighs you down. It does not affect that other person either way. And, and that's why it's important to forgive because it's for you. It's for you to like dump all of that emotional-ish somewhere. And leave it. Don't even take it with you. You know? And that communication, I'm telling you, they up in their head. But they have this epiphany. And with no more rain, I was picking up on someone like crying, shedding a tear. Being kind of emotional about a situation and another person would never suspect. But it's like with no more rain in this cloud, those cloudy days are over. It's like there's light, you know. This is like, you know, after the storm has passed, the sun, it just comes out and just everything just glistens and glows. It's just bright and illuminous. So this is like illumination, light bulb moment. This is also someone realizing, dang, love this person. I love my divine feminine. My heart is open to this beautiful goddess. I want to communicate. I want to express this love. Because they feel an overwhelming feeling of joy. Of adoration. You know. Attraction. And they're literally building up and mustering up the strength to come after you. To come toward you. To emote and express these feelings. So let's see what we have. We'll clarify these messages. On the bottom of the deck, we have Jack O'Lantern. Protection. So you are protected. This, this union is protected as well, I'm hearing. This is a sacred union. This is a spiritual union. And that's why there was so many uh, synergies, like synchronicities. With the numbers 9933 9, 3, 1919. You know what I'm talking about? Like it's it's like there was a synergy with the numbers. So this is showing me that this person is absolutely like your twin flame. You know, they could be the yin to your yin, I mean the yang to your yin. And with no more rain in this cloud, clouds represent confusion fogginess like being confused that person that was confused they're no longer confused the one that was stuck at the fork in the road with the 56 the two they stuck like should I go left or right you know what I'm talking about should I go back or forwards it's always the right decision to move forwards upwards and onwards opposed to going backwards it's nothing back there you just came from there why are you going back you just came from there <laughs> you know what I'm talking about but there's someone, I'm telling you, this relationship change is right next to happy ending. Some of y'all are going to be wifed up. You're going to be wifed up. You're going to be hugged up, booed up, partnered up. You're going to be very happy. It's going to make you happy, beloveds. Very happy. On the split, we have Skull of Darkness. It says Blind Spots and Jack-O-Lantern Protection. So remember what I said, trust your intuition always, you know, stay woke, keep your head on the swivel. If something don't sound right, it ain't right. If things don't add up and it don't make sense, somebody's lying to you, period, point blank. There's no confusion. So that's why spirit is saying, look, look at things from a bird's eye view. That way you can assess the whole perimeter. You got to look at everything. You can't just look... At, at, at things so one track minded it's like you have to to um, you have to factor in everything you have to weigh in all possibilities and we have Rukus uh, I said Rukus Rufus and Shaka Khan and this is called stay so yeah somebody is dealing with a karmic that wants them to stay stuck to stay with them, to go backwards. And that's why I was just saying, like, 
mofos want to go backwards and it's like yo you you going backwards you just came from back there why you going backwards the, you know it's supposed to be moving forward upwards and onwards that's 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 the whole that's the direction you want to be going in and somebody's really like you know maybe they're being very thick headed but I feel like spirit is is protecting someone because remember that devil showed up. This could even be someone like overthinking, you know, that could be very mentally conflicting. And then this candle could be indicative of the light that that shining within someone, you know, that epiphany because that 33 deals with the first eye. That's someone using discernment, you know. So the whatever that blind spot was, this yellow card, this light, this light vibrates just like that flame on that candle. It's going to illuminate a situation, bring truth, clarity. And this is going to ultimately give this person an opportunity to protect themselves from someone or something that was hidden. That snake, that devil, someone I was picking up on someone speaking with a forked tongue. So whoever that is, this is someone that doesn't want another person to leave. I feel like it's codependent based. It has nothing to do with love. It has nothing to do with um, even the respect or of the sanctity of the relationship. It's really about control. It's really about codependency, attachments toxicity and that's why somebody had to take the time out to really work on themselves because self-discipline is about self-love self-care and that 31 I'm sorry the 41 reduces the 5 which deals with the Hierophant and the Hierophant is also you know very symbolic of sitting at the feet of the elders or that, that energy of Soaking up game, beloved, like soaking up game, picking up them jewels, them gems. You know what I'm talking about? Them cowrie shells. This is this is what somebody's doing. Just like, but there's protection around someone. So divine spirit of love and light was coming and going over all for my divine feminine. May I have a message of love and a message of light. Whatever isn't growing is dead, and I feel like somebody's finally realizing that. Or understanding that because it's just like like the amount of work it takes to sustain something that has is already dead stinking and buried because I keep seeing like um, with this 13 I'm, I keep getting like the death the death the death you know but the death has led to a resurrection in someone's consciousness you know they're no longer seeing things the old way it's like the great awakening. My spirit of love and light may have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. Okay, I'm hearing this is the last one. I just wanted to get a good shuffle. You know me. My spirit of love and light was coming in for my divine feminine. May have a message of love and a message of light. Bottom of the deck is going to clarify comp uh, compassion, overall energy. This is the veil, and this is future, the future. So that's what spirit is saying. You've removed some sort of veil from your eyes. So if there was, you know, something that really had you a little um, confused, conflicted, maybe this was a belief system, an ideology. Maybe this was having the wrong people around you in your ear. Uh, maybe this was your own doing, just self-sabotaging or self-deception, um, self over-analyzing, um, whatever it is. This is like imprisonment even of the mind. Um, this could be gaslighting someone, gaslighting you. I feel like that's why compassion is here because maybe someone deceived you um, and you had to remove those rose-colored glasses. Uh, I was saying that earlier, you know, about you being able to see something very clearly now, you know, not falling for the okie doke. You got the gazelles on with no lenses, so you can see very clear. Um, and and it, it has a lot to do with your future. Like you're not trying to um, be out here repeating uh, the same karmic lessons. It's like you're you're like the buck stops stops with me. Um, so it's like you're 
doing this with the in, intention to, you know, really, um, you know, to secure your future, you know, and that's why it's like, okay, in order for me to have a healthy uh, connection, relationship, dynamic um, with a divine masculine, I'm going to have to let go of some of this emotional baggage, all of this judgment. Uh, I'm going to have to um, forgive someone's, you know, um, wrongdoing uh, because it's, it's about your future. Forgiveness is for you. So if you don't forgive, this can affect your future. This can affect your future relationships, your future love ships. So I feel like the wool is, is, is really being um, removed from your eyes because now you're starting to see uh, that you are not a victim, man. You're not a victim. Um, so let's tap in. So we have um, Barm Brock and it says synergy, uh, the sweetness and synergy. So this is the second time this energy is showing up for the person that you're attracting. Um, it showed up in Scorpio's energy and now it's showing up in the divine uh, feminine's energy. But um, this is someone that definitely is sweet on you. I feel like they also realize that, you know, you could catch, you know, a lot of flies with honey. You know what I'm talking about? Like, so they're coming in very sweet. Um... This is that person. Remember, I was picking up on like synergy. Someone has to, like this real strong synergy, attraction, um, just this passion, this fire, this desire. Uh, they they are very very much uh, feeling pulled and and um, almost drawn to you. They see you like radiating in this light. I feel strongly this connection is uh, very spiritually protected because whenever you have something that's synergetic, it's that's more um, vibrational. You know, that's to me is more like, you know, that that's like when, you know, the frequencies, your frequencies are intertwined. You know what I'm saying? Like your souls are intertwined, you know? And it's a very protected union because those same jack-o'-lanterns we just saw uh, that said protection are you know, surrounding, um, you know, this, this bum brock here. So this person really is, um, I feel like they're sweet on you, but I also feel like they will be very sweet to you. Um, they would be, I was picking up like somebody very attentive, um, someone very affectionate, emotionally intelligent. Maybe this is someone that could cook their ass off or somebody who could really bake, you know, like they, maybe they like to bake, uh, cakes, from scratch or maybe this is something you all like to do is you bake um, from scratch or maybe they love the way you cook whatever this is divine feminines I just feel like um, someone will even communicate a very sweet message you know they'll be very sweet in the way that they express something to you uh, perhaps confessing um, the strong connection they feel um, but I see here because we have, um, who is this? Um, what is this? Lord Jesus. Oh, and we have Bloody Sword. And this is uh, by Che Nori. Uh, so, Bloody Sword, yeah. Somebody could have been real greasy with the way that they was communicating uh, in the past. Which is why you could have walked away. Because they could have said something. They could have, like, bit their tongue. You know, or they weren't. They weren't used to biting their tongue. They just let ish fly off, you know, fly off their tongue. They had diarrhea of the mouth is what I'm hearing. Um, with bloody sword, the sword represents the mind as well. So I do feel like somebody is really just up in their head. And then they finally, you know, get that light bulb moment, you know, because that bloody sword is really just like, you know, maybe an ugly truth, painful truth. Uh, someone who was stabbed in the back or someone who could have stabbed you in the back. Maybe someone received karma um, from a situation. Because remember, I was saying how the lovers and the devil card is really intertwined. It's just the shadow and the light side of the cards, you know. So that bloody sword is really saying that there was uh, perhaps a situation where someone could have 
been backstabbed or betrayed, deceived. Um, I was picking up on the forked tongue. Uh, so some sort of snake energy, someone that really um, could have been deceitful, you know. Uh, maybe this is that person that can use emotional manipulation and you just got to be mindful to trust your intuition. Whoever this is with bloody sword, they could have got uh, betrayed. Maybe they was dealing with a karmic relationship and maybe that situation turned um, very toxic. Uh, I feel like maybe the communication back and forth could have been uh, very toxic. A lot of um, just a lot of, of um, verbal abuse, disputes, arguments, screaming matches. Um, and someone just finally gets some sort of epiphany to like to leave out of a situation. Uh, but I'm also just getting a strong sense with that bloody sword that someone really just, you know, they could have been the one to to break your heart. Um, maybe they're feeling heartbroken. So let's see what we have. So why is this communication here for the person, my beautiful divine feminines? is uh attracting to them look what you have it says eternal love love is love is love that's my slogan right there and it says and it transcends physical death wow so i feel i'm hearing instantly with this 33 i'm hearing this is like a past life love twin flame it says it transcends time physical death rather you could even have ancestors, you know, angels watching over this union, watching over this connection. I was saying it was a sacred union. It was a spiritual connection, a soulful connection that you have with this person. And we have, um, who is this? Angel, uh, Melissa Morgan with Kashif, and it's called Love Changes. And remember, you all have relationship change that showed up so this person their love has changed for another person and it's because they feel like you you are the yin to their yang you're the one that got away and the train is going by so I'm getting like they're going to visit you they're going to take action they want this victory but they want a breakthrough I feel like they're going to confess and express their love they're going to express it's going to express their love and it says it transcends physical death and I kept picking up on the death card so whatever transpired y'all could have been like this could be like a, um, some sort of like runner chaser but this person is finally waking up to some sort of truth and if they are in a connection it they realize that it's dead stinking and buried like they need to leave that situation behind see this the lamp didn't I say somebody's remembering you they got some sort of memories they holding back the years beloved holding back the years I'll keep holding on I'll keep holding on that's what I'm hearing. Like, they'll keep holding on. This is like they're remembering something. And again, I see that, that pumpkin, that jack-o'-lantern. This is very, they're very protected of this union. Also, I'm getting like even the four of pentacles. So they've been holding on to you, even though there's no communication, which is why they're kind of like up in their head, remembering the times. Do you remember? But they are leaving a connection to come towards you. That 33 is giving me like the six of swords. And the train is still going by. So there is distance. Physical distance. Emotional. There's no communication. They've had some sort of epiphany because this lamp illuminates. And that's why this communication, this yellow, is here. So the lamp illuminates the communication. This is like that download from spirit. That transmission. That divine intervention. Like... This is absolutely, you know, your divine feminine. I was picking up on, you know, the, the, the twin flame energy. But this person is really like, you know, regrets, you know, up in their head. Why is physical activity here? For how this person, our beautiful Scorpios, is attracting to them. 
And this card flew down here. And look what we have. Graveyard Unnecessary Fear. Didn't I say this person was intimidated by you? It says graveyard. And the graveyard is where the dead live. So this is someone that definitely sees. And remember I said that 67 reduces to 13, which is the death. So the graveyard is where the dead are buried. So this person definitely knows that and sees that you've transformed. They've unfortunately led to some sort of demise. They had dishonesty or they may maybe playing with your emotions, holding back, playing hard to get, not making um, the effort, not you know showing attention, not being open, not being transparent or honest communicative, whatever it is, it led to the death, the demise. This person has fears now in how to approach you because they know that they have, you know, it's like they shot themselves in the foot. They cut their nose off despite their own face. They are intimidated because you are the empress, the divine feminine, and this is a masculine. So they feel like, I kept feeling like, you know, Someone is, 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 you know, kind of like afraid. What to say? What do I do? We have the witch here. It says, the earthly wearer of, weaver, excuse me, of the worlds. So, as I said, they, they know that you all are very intuitive, very powerful. It's very mysterious. It's very magnetic. It's very intriguing. They know that you are master manifestors. They know that you're alchemists. They know that you are spiritualists, like you have gifts. You've manifested. You know this about yourselves. And we have Dave East, the people. So I feel like you all are very... You have a hand in... You know, whatever this, this happy outcome, this happy ending, it's like you are the weaver. You, you have master manifested this. I feel like, again, some of you all could have been like manifesting love, just calling in your desires, setting your intentions. Whatever the case may be, somebody could even be, you know, getting rid of some sort of witch, some sort of, you know, someone that was doing some sort of uh, spiritual work. And it's like there's a happy outcome and happy ending. Let's tap in. Maybe this is you, your energy, because I do feel like y'all are in your power. You know, so I strongly feel like that which energy is your energy. So why is 93 happy ending here for my divine feminines? They have a message of love and of light. Wow, a couple cards flew out and that one wants to come out too. Bottom of the deck, we have Bumbrock. Look at that. Again, sweetness and synergy. So obviously someone that is sweet on you is coming. So we got a couple of cards that flew out. The first card I saw is Dawn. And what does it say? The light after the darkness. And didn't I liken that to your journey? That you are coming out of a dark period. And this is clarifying the happy ending card. So this is the rebirth. This is emerging someone completely new, wiser. You know, having a deeper, more profound understanding of the self. There's something that's like you're on the precipice of a new beginning, a new voyage, a new chapter. You're entering into a whole new portal, new dimension. There's something that's illuminated. This is light coming out of that dark night of the soul journey. But there's happiness here. There's joy. You know, this owl is very, you know, indicative or symbolic, I should say. Of wisdom, wise dome. That's listening to your your higher self, your inner self. And we have brand Nubian, don't let it go to your head. 
So this is really about, you know, also um, being humble. Remain humble. I'm hearing that. Remain humble. Remain grounded. Don't get in your ego. You know, maybe somebody was very egotistical, stubborn, or um, I'm just getting, um, don't let it go to your head. So if somebody does return, Spirit is saying, don't let it go to your head. And we have owl here again. So there's two owls. So when owls, owl totems show up, those are very spiritual and sacred animal totems. Um, they represent the necessity to trust your intuition. Uh, it could, you know, really um, allude to, you know, some sort of uh, dark energy, a need to look alive, stay aware, look alert, be alert, be observant. Um, owls are also uh, impervious to threat because they are nocturnal predators so they could see in the dark they also have the ability to you know turn their heads 360 so they could literally go their head could do that so this the and they have these these talons they, they, they're not to be messed with so this is an energy of of intuition as well with that 93 spirit is saying what's hidden is with this dawn, it says the light after the darkness. Then it says owl, wise seeing, wise action. Someone has become aware of something. It's like someone was waiting for some sort of opportune time. Because that 93 is giving me like the three of cups. They were planning, preparing, strategizing. Because the wise seeing, wise action. It's like you don't take action until you have, you know plan some sort of course of action and you can see in both of these cards these owls are in flight so it's like they're not going to take flight unless they are sure they're going to catch their prey or there's this uh you know there's a successful outcome for them so this is why sees wise action so very very intuitive these animal totems are uh, also their ability to see what's in uh, the dark you know very similar to like cats very impervious to threat you know um, and with these moons here you know this is a moon and this is a sun and we just had a total eclipse on the eighth you know so this is really speaking to a major change, a major shift, um, some sort of, an, there's some sort of uh, change that's coming. And it's a positive one because this these cards are clarifying happy ending. And so we have spider, says community and web weaving. So this is that person that wants to build. You know, this is that person that wants to um, establish a solid foundation they want to build some sort of alliance or collaborate or partner up they want to be supportive they want to you know th this is the type of person that wants to brainstorm and and work together they're willing to put forth the effort to work together they also see how hard you work, how much you do. And that's how they know that when they come in, because you're in that divine feminine energy with that 93, it's like they know they're going to have to come in and match your fly. They've come out of the dark. They've had that, that epiphany. And we have black cat. I just mentioned a black cat, or not black cat per se, but just cats, period, being impervious to threat and there it is it says black cat fortune meets opportunity and there goes another set of eyes and if you look here so there's eyes watching so someone could be waiting for the right time to strike you know and because there's an owl and there's a black cat and I've just likened them to being impervious to threat I feel spirit is telling you keep your head on a swivel 
stay aware. You know, maybe someone is watching you and learning you and studying you so as to figure out the right way to take action. Because it says wise seeing, wise action. So maybe you have some sort of secret admirer or someone that's interested and perhaps through their observation, it will result in some sort of positive outcome. But I feel like with fortune meets opportunity, I feel like there's something turning in your favor. If there was something blocking or delaying this connection, that's why you have the dawn, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel. So there's like an opportunity for things to, you know, evolve and grow. Because it's like you're, you're uh, coming out of a, a period where there could have been delays or there could have been certain blockages. And so maybe this is you assessing, you know, the right course of action or assessing the right way to move or maneuver, working very hard, you know, working very hard, planning and preparing. And then bam, just like this spider, it's like it weaves its web so meticulous that way if an insect, a bug or anything happens to fall into its very sticky trap. It's just if it pulls on one um, string of um, silk or one part of the web, the, the spider knows exactly where it is. It knows on which part of the web it has fallen because each of those webs are connected and attached to the spider. So it's a, there's a connection. So it's a very sacred connection. This person's really, really um, looking at this as, you know, some sort of opportunity. Uh, it's like they, they see this as a very destined connection. This is someone who's very learned, very, you know, they've been studying. You know, this is almost like teaching and learning. Maybe they've been watching you because it did say like wise seeing, wise action. So maybe they've been studying you, watching you at a distance and taking note because they do know you're the divine feminine. They're going to have to come in right and exact. And we have bloodstone and this is called natural high. So maybe some of you all are working with bloodstone at this at this time. Maybe you're you were working with bloodstone to manifest love. I also feel like this is a very um you know, maybe the chemistry the two of you have is very natural. You know, maybe you have just a very um, cool dynamic and cool uh, synergy, banter, chemistry, you know. But I feel like this person definitely is, is like when they're around you, they just, you know, it's like they're floating you know, very sweet on you. So why is relationship change here? Thank you, spirit. And we have invisibility and it says authenticity. So someone is absolutely, you know, they were self-deceiving. Whenever I see, you know, these um, hoods or capes, you know, with that invisibility, that could also say somebody's kind of watching you in the shadows. This is really telling me also somebody had to um, become their authentic selves, you know, stop wearing a mask, stop, you know, just kind of like hiding behind masks or facades because it diminishes who you are, you know, if you don't think you're good enough to be your authentic self and you got to put on a mask or you got to put on this, this whole facade, then it's like, that's not exhibiting strength or confidence for that matter. And so this almost diminishes someone's, you know, presence. And that's why they felt the need to change. And this is that person, remember, that had the blind spots. So there were some things they had to work on. It was a natural process, especially with bloodstone. And remember, we just had um, blood sword that was playing. So I feel like this is that person that got 
perhaps their heart was pierced is what I heard in my mind's eye. So the sword through the heart. And I'm hearing straight through the heart. And you're too plain, darling. You give love a bad name. That's what I heard. So somebody definitely took something to the heart. Like they, they got their heart broken. They, you know, stabbed, you know, whatever. Stabbed in the back I was feeling. But maybe somebody's heart was just pierced. And um, whatever that blind spot was, someone didn't see something for what it was. You know, maybe dealing with a, somebody that was wearing a mask or someone that was being fake, a fugazi, a fraud. This led to someone changing. There's no communication, as you can see, because the mouth is completely covered. So this is that person that could be a mute, just don't communicate. They don't say nothing. But I also see they're finding balance, mind, body, and soul. You know? They could be somebody that could be meditating more. All right, so the two cards that flew out, we have the skull of flowers creating through the ashes. So that's what turning pain into power is. This is becoming the conduit of change. So someone definitely, I feel, is uh, coming in very apologetic. You know, this is someone that has learned they're making a decision. And we have tears for fears. Everybody wants to rule the world. So this is what, you know, maybe somebody was dealing with. Somebody was dealing with someone who was um, very controlling. You know, someone who had codependency issues. Very attached and detached at the same time from reality. But it says creating through the out ashes. So that's literally what, you know, rebirth and renewal and rejuvenation is. You know, regardless of how toxic something became or how um, much change happened, you, you didn't let it define you or break you. It's like this led to someone making better decisions or choosing to walk away from something that wasn't working out for them. You know, with the flowers, flowers represent growth. It also represents love, you know. And we have cauldron. It says synergy and healing. It's the second time that word synergy is showing up. Because I keep hearing that for your divine man masculine that's coming in. And this is the one half of 11, 11, 56 relationship change. So this person, you know, their feelings, I'm telling you, it's, it's like, so they're cooking up something is what I just heard. They're cooking up something. They want to reconcile or heal this connection because it says right there, creating through the ashes. So something ob obviously burnt down. I'm getting the tower. So the tower fell down. It was burned. Spirit moved in. Too many lies, trickery, deception, even self-deception, even betrayal. You know, it was too much of that. And spirit had to step in and strike the tower. So that everything that was hidden could come to light. So that everything that was being, you know, hidden behind the scenes could be revealed. And so what I see here is it's almost like throwing shit at the wall to see what sticks. That's what someone was doing until that just stopped working. It just, it just became very evident that that's not enough. That's why they said, okay, I got to start healing myself. Because this, this connection, I kept feeling like somebody feeling pulled, this magnetic pull. And that's what synergy is. You know, when you have that type of connection with someone, um, it really triggers you to heal. It really triggers you. And this is that person who is really becoming their authentic self. And it was by means, you know, of this connection. So let's see what we have coming out with the Psychic Tarot. We have Fulfillment of Wishes. Look at that. So there's a blessing, a reward. I definitely feel like you've become spiritually strong. I see this card as like a graduation, feeling very emotionally fulfilled. I see spirit blessing you. I see you being blessed for your todays and all of your tomorrows. And it could be because of you forgiving yourselves, forgiving others, but also for you showing compassion. 
you know, for you removing that veil from your eyes, from you now seeing the truth in order to plan towards your future. Look at this on the split. I can't make this up. You have the number three, recognition and reward. I literally just said that. Reward! Like, it's, it's like you're being recognized because you've taken the necessary time to work on yourselves. To reflect. And then you could remove the veil from your eyes. And then you could see clearly the path, the course of action you're going to take to solidify a future, a bright future. It's like maybe you had somebody that was trying to control you. Like I said, everybody wants to rule the world. So you was dealing with somebody who could have been a straight narcissist or somebody controlling, you know, with that devil showing up. They're very deceitful. They'll, you know, put the wool, pull the wool over your eyes. And maybe it called for you to forgive. Just because you forgive does not mean you forget or you play fool. But it is wise to not let your left know what your right is doing. So if they think you're a fool, good. Let them sleep. Sleep is the cousin of death. <laughs> but I see here, spirit is rewarding you. I see the number nine and the number three. And what is that reduced to? Twelve. And what is that reduced to? Three. And what does that say? That's you, Divine Feminines. You're being recognized and reward, rewarded because you've reached a level of self-mastery. You have mastered your craft. You've sharpened your sword. You've honed your skills, gifts, and talents. You've stood in your power. You've healed thyself. You love yourselves now. You've created health boundaries. You've learned to co-create. You've mastered so many aspects of the self. And that's why Spirit said you have a wish fulfillment. And you also have recognition and reward. And I was saying, like, y'all are going to be in the spotlight. Someone may be seeing you as, you know, a star. Because you're in the spotlight. You're getting recognized for something you do. So Divine Spirit of Lemon Light. What's coming in for my Divine Feminines? And we have Core Righteous Teachers. This is called Rock This Funky Joint. So yeah, there's definitely, you know, you know, this sense of self-righteousness also. Someone could have been very self-righteous in the past. You know, that could have been the one that had this veil pulled over the eyes. You know, with this red, that's passion. So maybe there was a very lustful, you know, element to a connection. Let's see what we have. Uh, Spirit of Love and Light. We'll clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. Bottom of the deck, beloveds. Look at this. I can't make this up. Material, spiritual, material and spiritual prosperity, beloveds. That's what you got your eyes on. The prize. You got your eyes on the prize, beloveds. That's why you said, look. When you show compassion... And you forgive those who know not what they do. This is what spirit does. This is this a show and a sign of you being very spiritually strong. Being in alignment, mind, body, and soul. Also, just learning the lessons. And now you're basking in all that glory. This is showing that you have a wealth of knowledge. And this is why you're able to see things very clearly now. Because you're no longer under the spell or confused you're no longer up in the clouds it's like now you have clarity and your future you can now plan very strategically meticulously because this is again you know hermit energy you know assessing deep diving self-analysis reflection you know taking internal self audits even just onus, accountability. This is even rejuvenating yourself. But look what comes out on the other side when you do the work. When you heal thyself, this is what spirit has for you. 
That number six is also showing me that there could be some sort of um, victory here. Major breakthroughs, major opportunities being presented. Look what we have. Obstacles and challenges. Number five. And we're about to clarify the person that you are attracting. And it says eternal love. And it says love is love is love. And it transcends physical death. And we also have the number communication. So someone is trusting their intuition and using discernment. Trying to figure out, like I said, how to come toward you. How to strategize. If you look, spirit is giving this person guidance. You know, these little light bugs. Glow bugs or glow, um, what do you call them? Glow insects. It's like they're lighting the path to show this person, like, if you take a step and you don't strategize the right way, it could fall. You could fall to your death. You could plummet. You know what I'm saying? There's pitfalls here. So it's like this person has to be very strategic. This yellow card is like an epiphany on how to do so. What are they doing? Where are they going? They're going where they feel this eternal love, this synergy, this chemistry, this connection that that I've been feeling all throughout the reading. That's where they're headed, towards you. But they have to choose wisely. They got to be mindful. Why? This is somebody that feels left out in the cold, abandoned. This is somebody that was conflicted in the past and with poor righteous teachers. You know, I definitely feel like this person could have been like self-righteous, pompous egotistical, stubborn. So why is 33 communication and eternal love here for the person? Okay, that's too many. Look what I just said. I can't make this ish up. Everything I just said, I'm going to just show you what I see. First and foremost, emotional loss I see. I'm not taking these cards. I'm just going to expound. I'm going to put them back in, but I found it very interesting that emotional loss is here. I was picking up with that blood sword you know, somebody was heart was pierced. Uh, we also had blood stone. You know what I'm saying? And so somebody's definitely feeling the loss, the pain. Not only are they feeling the loss and pain, but they're also mentally conflicted, as I said, in two minds. Very confused. What they're going through, look at this. They're going through some sort of regret over this divine feminine. This fertility card is y'all. This person's really up in their head about it. I was picking up somebody, just kind of ruminating and pining. I was picking up also hurt and pain and them having to heal from that pain. You can see that they're applying their own hands to heal themselves. So it's like they've gained some sort of wise dome as well, that they have the ability to heal themselves. And that five is the hierarchy. And remember, I was saying that this person was sitting under the feet of the elders, under some sort of master teacher pastor or preacher maybe even under a spiritual advisor they're learning how to heal themselves they're learning that they have that ability and this is also what i'm seeing is the spiritual strength they're building their spiritual strength it's like they're matching your fly this is the nine and the nine is the hermit but the nine is also what we have here double and i was saying that that person and you you know, this is what you do. You learn, you know, from the experiences. You reflect. You look back in awareness. But you move forward with more vigor, more more zealous, more, more uh, tenacity or more confidence, more passion. I almost feel like I need to take these cards because it's just like, it, it's, it's just telling the story. But I'm going to put them back. But I just had to show y'all because you know I like to show and prove and look at that four firm foundation. So let me give me my card, the bang, bang, boogie. And so we have earth, wind, and fire. Keep your head to the sky. So this is what this person is doing. They're looking for some sort of answers. They could be sending up those prayers and petitions. There's definitely a divine intervention, download, transmission coming through from their spirit. So they may be, you know, sun gazing. They could definitely be seeking, you know, some sort of wise counsel on how to move forward with this divine connection. May I have a message of love and light for my beautiful divine feminine? Why is this 33 communication eternal love here for my divine feminines? For this person that they are attracting, may I have a message 
of love and a message of light spirit. Okay, thank you, spirit. And we have <laughs> obstacles and challenges yet again. So this is what they're going through. Spirit is being very clear. Very clear. This is not, can't get this confused. This person is going through some challenges. They are going through some conflicts. Beloved, they're fighting. You know, this is five and five. That's ten. So this is really like a painful ending, a karmic ending. But look what's here. What's here? We got this seven. See that seven? So they will break free from whatever that is that keeping them stuck and stagnant. Because why? They finally gain the confidence. They finally come in with that sense of assertiveness, power. So whatever they was confused and conflicted by, whatever was weighing them down, it's like spirit is showing. See that? Taking that time. This is the hermit. Studying. Learning. This is that studious energy. Internal work. Discovering the truth. With keep your head to the sky. That's where the sun rises each day. And this is what they're doing. Keep your head to the sky. So this is like trusting your intuition. This is using your first eye to see. All of these cards that are face down. I'm not taking these. I'm going to just take the one that's upright. And look what we have. Shadow. I can't make this up. I was mentioning shadow. Somebody working through their shadow side. And this is the number 18. That's 9. So this is what they're doing. This is someone completing a cycle. The shadow is when you are going within. This is also indicative of like the moon card. You know, doing that shadow work is really that energy that I was picking up when I kept referencing the lovers as well as the devil card because it literally is a mirror and that's what this person is doing. It's like they're reflecting on something and what they're reflecting on is in relation to some sort of eternal love, ship, or connection. So may have a message of love and a message of light. For my divine feminines, my cards just got all discombobulated. Because I got one that's like ripped so it just jacks up the whole thing. I got to get a new deck because I've literally used these two. The ground, beloved. So look what we got on the bottom of the deck. Spiritual union. Wasn't I using that as the way to define this connection throughout the whole relation, the whole reading? I kept saying like synergy, a spiritual connection, a soulful connection. Well, there goes the spiritual union. That's why. So I have 67 physical activity and graveyard here for how this person feels about our beautiful Scorpios. They have so much to say. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. I can't make this up. Throat chakra. They really want to say something. This is like a gazillion cards here. I'm not going to go through all of these cards. But they have so much they want to say. It's like I was picking up on somebody who even had like diarrhea of the mouth. Maybe they said a lot of things in the past they regret now. That's why they, you know, how they feel about you is they got some sort of fears, some intimidation, you know, because they know they mess things up. And we got um, heart here. Barracuda. So, yeah, they did some old sneaky, fishy-ish because a barracuda is like, it's a fish with these old crazy teeth, like almost like a piranha, you know. But this is that person with heart. They definitely love you because heart and the 67 breaks down to 13, which is four, which deals with the heart chakra. So this person does love you, but they did some dumb ish that led to the death, to the, to the demise you know, and so they reminisce on the love y'all had. Yep, they definitely do. And they want to communicate, beloved. They are literally, they're like, you saw how these cards just been spitting out. They got so much they want to say. So why is 67 physical activity graveyard here for how this person feels about my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. See that? Suffering in silence. They refuse to emote, express what they feel. They're still going through some sort of conflict and changes. But this is what they're doing. Suffering in silence. But suffering no more because that's a nine. They're about to take action. Because that wand, that staff that she's carrying, you see that she made it to the top of the mountain. 
So this is how they see you. You know, they may see you as very guarded as well. Like you've given them chance after chance, opportunity. But what I also see is that sun that's rising, almost like that dawn card. And so it says the light, you know, it says something about the light after the darkness. So it's like, yes, this was a very dark period, but nines represent the highest number of change. So there's something changing. And you've also reached the peak of that mountain, which speaks to ascension and growth, transformation, going through some sort of startling metamorphosis. I see this person also wanting to resurrect this connection, you know, because they see you now in a whole new light. They want to take action. They love you. We got sacrifice here. They're willing to sacrifice. They realize they didn't make any in the past. You know, this is the epiphany. That's why with this happy ending, it's like, I'm hearing that Tony, 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 whatever you want. Whatever you want. Girl, you know I can provide whatever you need, whatever you need me. So this person definitely is like willing to sacrifice. That three is giving me the energy, not only of your energy, the Empress, but it's also giving me that three of wands, three of pentacles, like building an alliance, partnership partnering up, building a foundation, but also planning, preparing, strategizing, someone coming in intentionally, you know, with passion, someone willing to work together, to build together, you know, being a support system, you know, working as a unit. And they're willing to sacrifice whatever is necessary. So why is this 93 happy ending, dawn, why seeing, why is action, spider, and black cat here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved divine feminines. May I have a message of love and a message of life. And we have public enemy fight the power. So this person may feel like they are um, your enemy. You know, maybe they feel like, you know, shoot. I just feel like they, they you know, maybe they feel guilty. But we have uh, Solitude 9 again. So a lot of nines showing up. So it's telling me that there is a completion and that there is something like almost coming full circle. You know, maybe this person felt like your enemy in the past. And this is why, you know, now this with this wise seeing, wise action, all these eyes just kind of watching on this line here because you got the cat's eyes, you know. So it's almost like this person is watching you. So we have choose wisely. See that? And I was mentioning someone who could potentially like, you know, be confused, stuck at a fork in the road. So they're being told, and this card showed up, if I'm not mistaken, in the former reading. And so this is like meditate to get it straight, contemplate. Someone could be sitting at a body of water to receive some sort of downloads. Maybe someone is a water sign. I definitely feel like somebody is going to move um, forward because I'm getting like the seven, which is... The chariot, so now they're more assertive, confident, you know, taking action because they feel a sense of balance. That's why it's leading to that happy ending. I see the sacral chakra, so that is that person that was really um, focused on, you know, um, self care, nurturing themselves, even moving to the beat of their own drum, learning to uh, accept who they are and not being um, invisible because they're wearing a mask or because they're putting on a facade. And when it says fight the power, I feel like this person is willing perhaps to fight for you. You know, yep. Didn't I say partnerships and alliances? This is what this person wants to build. This is what they desire to have. Is a partnership, is a connection. And we got 9-3 and 9-3. So this is someone really that is mirroring back to you. Because if you look, This is 93 because that 7 and 2 reduces to 9 and then that 3 and then we got 9, 3 here. Happy ending. So what's going to bring forward or what's going to bring forth a happy ending is someone choosing, making the choice, the decision. That's what I was picking up with this 56 relationship change. Someone is making a conscious effort or decision to come towards another person and it's because they are now moving to the beat of their drum, doing what they desire to do. And what they're doing is they're wanting to come in and build this partnership, this alliance. That's that three I was feeling over here, like someone wanting to build a nucleus. 
not over there. What am I talking about? Right there. And so next, see that transformation? Can't make this up. I was picking up on that with that 67. Someone has absolutely changed, transformed. And this is the number 13. And I was picking up on that right there. Can't make this up, beloveds. This is change. This is transformation. This is growth. This is elevating. And that three and that four, this reduces to seven. So a lot of messages, downloads, conversations with the self, even conversations with the higher self, with the guides, maybe dream activity. But I do feel like somebody will come in intentionally to say, hey, I want to build this union. I want to partner up. And we got the solitude. So coming out of hermit mode because they feel like they've learned something. Like they feel like they've um, they've gained some sort of knowledge with wise seeing, wise action. So when you feel like you've learned something or mastered something, you're going to take action. You're going to apply what you've learned. So why is the 56 relationship change and this um, skull of flowers and cauldron? Bottom of the deck, look at that. There goes the divine masculine. I told y'all, and this person is very much, you know, um, this is like a go-getter. They don't they don't play. And we have Oshun own goddess. So there's definitely that person that sees you as a goddess. I told y'all they see you as, you know, a queen, you know, a lordess, a goddess, this divine masculine, this emperor. They coming. I've been picking up on the four all the reading, and here they are. Because they feel like they've changed, they transform. We got third eye, and I've been speaking about the first eye, you know, it's trusting your intuition. Someone's trusting their intuition. This is that same person with the creating through the ashes. So it's like they've experienced some sort of pain, hurt, trauma, loss, but it's like now they're trusting their intuition. Now they're using discernment. Next, we have temptation. See that? The devil. We had the evils playing earlier with sir. So someone was tempted, someone was playing with fire, and they weren't listening to their intuition. And that's what led to their heartbreak. Remember, we saw that emotional loss card. So this 6 and 6 reduces to 12, which reduces to 3. That's what led to the emotional loss. That's why I was picking up with the blood sword. So someone got pierced because they was playing with fire. They may have dealt with a sedu seductress, someone that was seducing them, maybe like I said, you know, incubus, succubus type of energy. And then we have accelerated motion, wish fulfillment, prayers, petitions, holding on to hope, being optimistic, unexpected news coming in, moving past the situation. Someone also realizing someone is a star. Someone is in the spotlight. Maybe there was a lot of jealousy and envy. Maybe there was even codependency here because someone was, uh, you know, successful and they were just holding on. But I feel whatever this is, divine masculine is coming in. And this person is very much, I feel a coldness. You know, maybe this is what they had to, to wake up. You know, they had to like awaken to how cold they come off. Because I can't, you know, there's like a halo around this crown chakra. So remember we had someone who was obviously learning some things. You know, because this is someone with the transformation. You know, I do feel like this is that person that is confident nonetheless. And they are coming in with that emperor energy because they see you as that empress. And they rushing in, beloved. You could have been felt like you've been waiting for a long time. But this person sees you as a goddess, sees you as a queen, sees you as the yin to their yang. And they're coming in. You know, because you are the twin flame. That four is the vibration of 1111. But this is your beautiful reading, my beloved Divine Feminine. I hope the message has resonated for you. Uh, if you found that the reading did, please be kind. Hit the like button. Hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope that the messages resonated. I hope my energy resonated with yours, vibe with yours. Um, stay a while. 
you know, uh, hit the like button, get the video into the algorithms, help others discover the reading, uh, and definitely, um, you know, become a member of the Soul Tribe. I try to post, you know, weekly, uh, depending on how I feel. Um, I do not post every day. I got to do it whenever spirit motivates and encourages me to do so. And when I do, they are deep dives because I like to pick up on all the energy. I'm very, very meticulous with this. <laughs> but um, for all of my beloveds that are, you know, constantly showing love, commenting, showing each other love, I love y'all so much. I send infinite love and light to y'all. I send Happy Solar Return. Shout out to every single one of you beautiful souls. If you are celebrating um, a Scorpio Solar Return. Uh, until next time, I send you a big fat old ashe. To all of y'all returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Check out my Etsy shop. Um, and definitely thumb up the video. Get it into the algorithms. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace, beloveds.